can't stop me now. Hear what I say. My feet want to move. So get out the way. I got my dancing shoes and my dancing head and everything I say. Got to go it all again. And I say, shame, 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 shame on you. Because you can't dance too. I say shame, shame, shame. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Shame on you. Trina Bob, good afternoon to you. Try Graham, big up yourself also. Try, yes. you're supposed to email you. Are you supposed to email me? Good evening, good evening. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So good evening, you guys. Good evening to you. The light. On to the light. It was doing something bad. Mm -hmm. Shall I talk to the beard? Still hanging on. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera. I'm just too cute. Magdalene Mbang. Okay. Magdalene Mbanga. Good afternoon to you. Scarlett, good evening. Willie, Little John, yes. Heart of worship. Big cousin, I mean, little cousin. <laughs> Wagwan family, good evening to you. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good so, evening. this is a risky live that we're doing. So, it might be long. It might not be that long. We're cooking some chicken foot. And of course, I I turned him on to, to chicken foot. I got him eating chicken foot. He never used to eat chicken foot. And so, yeah, I converted him. So he's now an, an accomplished chicken foot eater. Hey, mind them talking, them, them, them chicken foot eating there and them thing that we are talking about. You know? Really, Pete? You understand? I mean, I don't, I don't, don't tell nobody about me. He's an accomplished chicken foot eater. I might, I might double. Double yeah. is not even a good word. Double. But me not really want nobody look for me as no big chicken foot eater. <laughs> so anyway, so the little boy don't eat chicken foot. Joshua do not eat it at yes, all. Yes, yes, yes. What's going on? Yes, what's going on, though, guys? And so let me show you what we have to do. We pretty much mix the chicken foot with regular chicken pieces. Well, this is chicken thighs that we have mixed in there, and we have to do that in Tell order. Where you season it with. Where you marinate it with. Alright, let me shout out some. And let me let us know where you are logging in from. Wayne Wonder, good evening to you. Turn away. You, you don't, don't have, have to look in your face. Save it on that what it takes now. Just a smile. Hey. Then I can see hey. you're going crazy. Hey. Alright, leave Wayne Wonder. <laughs> We don't want to get a tune because coffee not in the building yet. <laughs> All right, so Bill heard that. Good evening, Simone Hemmings. Yes, because chicken food take long for cook. Lord have mercy. How long it take? It take long. Tell me how long it take, Simone, because everybody loves niche. Good evening to you too. Jasmine, good evening. Beanies, good evening. And uh, Willie, Little John, thank you. Little John sent me ten dollars. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Little John, bless up, bless Little up, John. bless up. Chicken foot, wing, breast, thigh, back and neck. Yes, save me the big foot at the of the chicken. Lord have mercy. I have never seen a whole chicken foot in New York City. They don't sell. <laughs> No man, go in at the Asian store then. They don't sell only the top part. Oh, for real? Yeah, in at the Asian. You might get the top part in at the Asian store. But really and truly, I don't have the bottom part. Them, them really. They sell. sell ours with the toenail and everything. So we have to cut off the toenail. Because we don't do like, you know, the other people do. And cook it with the toenail. That's just nasty. No, but guys, this is my problem. Because me have a problem, you know. Me have tell, can I tell the people they have a problem? Yeah, tell them my problem. Me not eat chicken foot. And they force me. 
Guys, me not eat chicken foot and they force me. Mm -hmm. But certain people in the household say them don't eat chicken foot and all of a sudden chicken add to it. You see, you see what I'm saying? This is this is some type of preferential treatment going on, some biases. You know? But, so we just get the, the chicken foot, give it a head start, let yeah, us yeah, just get, get that going first. Pot. I'll come back and tell you what we seasoned it with after. But move to yeah. It, move to it, move to it, move to it. Where's the curry? Are we gonna put other curry? Use the remember we we package it out. Okay. In our local so guys we get our Jamaican better pack curry in a plastic bag. But because we smart, you know, we realize that uh, we could have packaged it out. So we're gonna just dump some curry in this oil real quick. So you turn it up? Mm hmm And you want to put you know not too much, you know. Um let me hold the camera. No, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay. Alright, so that's that's about it. And we'll just make the curry toast a little bit in the oil. Mm -hmm. Why are you using my good good um wooden spoon for make it curry yes. up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, guys, don't put don't one, don't use your wooden spoon in your curry because it it will wait in there. It will, it will um it will change the color. Be careful of your erratic movements <laughs> because if the hot oil the bun me in my jar, you see me. Okay. See me try me try fix the beard and you want like you want me to turn me in a color beard. <laughs> so guys, we already put some curry on the on the chicken, but we mm -hmm. didn't put um too much. So now we're burning the curry. And that's good, that's good. It's, All right. it, 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 Let it, me get my song. Excuse me, a kitchen wiener. What kind of argument that? Fix up your argument. These things that you're talking about. This, I don't, you're guys, I don't really know what I'm going with her because we're in the kitchen and she won't bring in song. Let me see that song. You don't say any deliverance. Baby. Cousin, come on. Da, 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 da. Like you when the big girl. Go now? Eh? Go now? Go away. In here. <laughs> sure. So guys, you start with the chicken foot because chicken foot take longer for cook. Where All right. The Where the heat at? On front. <laughs> <laughs> See, you make you make um hotter words. You pick me on now. Yeah, you need help. <laughs> Alright, so we're just fishing out the chicken for them. Oh, and this, no. you guys, is pimento leaf. So, don't want to sweep on your pimento leaf. So, guys, when you're doing chicken foot, really and truly, if you if you should ever have chicken foot in the Asian um, restaurant, they, they go hard with their chicken foot. For most Caribbean persons who do chicken foot, we just allow it to just cook to a nice gelatin vibe like um but you know there there's different ways to do chicken foot so for this recipe we are just you know you want to quickly saute your chicken foot to get it to that level and some people just boil the chicken foot but no you don't have to boil it you can you can do a quick saute and then you use your you have to use your water strategically all right so now that you see that you see that thing forming on the bottom of the, the, the pan now you want to grab a little water a little bit not a lot you know maybe about um one third of a cup pour it 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 all right wow see that steam there no guy you don't want to steam to touch your baby all right so you try to deglaze in the pan a little bit <laughs> and see what I'm talking about? Do you want a little bit more water, babes? You see that? Once your chicken foot starts to get to that cooking stage, you're gonna, yeah, alright. You're gonna deglaze your pan a little bit and you make your chicken foot do its thing. It starts smell good already, you know, guys. I tell you, it starts smell good already. It's not a bit easier. <laughs> Turn to open up, Batman. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Orange time. Mm. Drink. Mm. All right, hold the camera for me, please. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna add a little bit more water, guys. Not enough to cover the chicken foot, but just enough to allow it to steam. 
and then you're going to put your cover on. All, All right. right. And when we get back over here, I'm going to start just finish up with some of these vegetables. All right. So, guys, let us tell you what we seasoned the, the curry chicken with. We put garlic powder. We put, of course... Our curry, of course, and this is from Royal Montego. And Royal Montego actually have a spicy curry too. Yeah, a hot curry. We have both. We have this and we have the hot one. He put cumin in there. And cumin is a part is is part of what makes curry. It give curry body. Mm -hmm. Oh very really? Good. Yeah, man. Very good herb. Okay, and it has a unique taste too, a mm -hmm. unique flavor, smell. And we added some turmeric. Why I put turmeric? Hold on. <coughs> Wait, may I cough? Yeah, the curry burning is, is tickling our throat. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm short. Uh, yeah, so we put turmeric in there. You guys already know that curry is a blend of spices. Turmeric is one of them. Cumin is um, one of them, but we also put additional amounts of these individual ingredients in our curry too. This is something that I don't know what it is. is no, it, this it's is in my, the wrong it's my yeah, it's my my oh, yeah. first my mix. It's I me mix that myself. Oh, I this is a curry. curry mix for goat. Yeah, but he, he he this is Yardabel is special blend. Yeah, because yeah. it have jira, it have amchar masala. Mm -hmm. It have a whole heap of different blends, you know. Because mm -hmm. you have to make your own thing sometimes, you know. Make it stand out, you understand? If y'all want me to make up um, some curry seasoning for you, know, let me know in the description box. And the only thing we put by way of natural seasoning was pimento, right? And garlic. We didn't put no garlic. No. We never put no garlic. Oh, yes! That What's garlic that? ginger blend. Yes! Show them. We have a ground garlic ginger blend. Yes. Let me show you guys. Because yes. this is something that you want hey. to do. Take out that for me. May I ask This is them? something that you want to do. Like in advance, just make sure you blend up your garlic and your ginger together. And put it in your refrigerator. And then anything you're cooking or seasoning, and you add this to it, trust me, man. Guys, is it me alone? Let me ask a question, a big, a serious question. Is it my wife alone who have some very, very loud exclamations? Like, oh yeah, oh my God! Look, share my fright. Me want to know. No, me, me heart a beat. Look there, watch it, feel it. Me heart a beat. She, oh my God! The girl is in the fridge. No, me need help. No, me need help. Whatever. But anyway, back to the feud. Alright, let me see if we can read some comments that you guys have been saying. Zola Golden Shines. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Alright, growing up chicken foot, gizzard and chicken liver meant funds were low. <laughs> Low, low. <laughs> no, these dishes are del delicacies, I tell you, the Shea Shop. Deli. And, and they're my quarantine, too. <laughs> girl. Girl. Yeah, chicken food is, trust me, anything that is gummy, I like that type of... What do you call you, it? You have, you have to change of your argument, you know. What kind of gummy argument? <laughs> <laughs> I like any meat that is gummy. No, sir. <laughs> Gelatinous. Yeah, gelatinous. gelatinous. Thank you. Okay. No, sir. It's a cold food. You know the big, big live shit about me. Anything we're gummy. <laughs> you know, that me like. Chicken foot. Pig foot. Not pig foot so much, but cold yeah, food. Yeah, we, we haven't had pork in quite a while. You know, um, we really don't cook pork in our home anymore. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, aside from the occasional, maybe one, one or two. Um, you know, times when we go somewhere and somebody offer it. Or if, if stew peas cook with it. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I see you, Magdalene. Thank you for, you know, encouraging these guys online to, to thumbs up Yardy Belly. But let me show them in case they don't know how to do the thumbs up. Because when they're in the chat, sometimes it's not easy. So you're in the chat. 
this is my tutorial you're in the chat and you're gonna just briefly close out the chat like so and then it takes you to the main page with the name of the video and then you will see the thumbs up button right there of course you're gonna hit the thumbs up and not the thumbs down because if you hit the thumbs down you are a loser. loser so hit the thumbs up button and then once you're done hitting that thumbs up button then you just hit live chat and you're back in business yeah babes i don't see no carrot rasta man and i'm the poke <laughs> I don't see no carrot. Only them look a baby carrot. Don't know. You have to look. Oh, I'm not seeing a carrot. Whoa, I'm not seeing a carrot in a life. Whoa, whoa. No, but you have to have something in life. Either carrot or cho cho. I mean, try your cake. All right, yes, now my chicken foot I go on. It happen. Guys, we have to be careful of one something when you um, steam burns. Can I get some water again, babe? See, chicken foot almost ready. The, 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 the skin has gone to a very nice gelatinous um, point there. So now, no, for that, that food for now. We need a regular spoon because we have to get off all of this stuff off at the bottom of the pot. This is 200% um, carrot, what name? Calag carrot Collagen. 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 That's what is at the bottom of the pot right there. Mm -hmm. See? You still, you end up using your, your thing that you didn't Yeah, because the, the, the other, the, um, the spoon would have make too much noise. Okay. To make the people them don't like my channel again. <laughs> so, that's right. So you want to scrape your pot bottom. Whoa. Just get out the collagen mm -hmm. off of your pot bottom and you know, of the, 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 the inside of the pot. And guys, I promise you, the color looks way yellower, yellower, yellower in person. Mm. It looks white on camera, but it looks yellow in live and living colors. And, well, all right, so you see when this boil down again, by this time, I'm ready for putting the actual chicken. But you, want, you don't want putting the chicken in water. Mm -hmm. You want to put in the chicken when it when it cooked down to a certain consistency. So this is just to facilitate softening up the chicken foot to a certain level. Why the chicken foot them curl up so like them chim? Them 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 um waiting in there, them are asked to please. <laughs> and guys, me never used to like this thing at all at all, as, as she said. You know? But when they force you when they force you, you have to deal with it, you know, or else you're here say you don't love them if you don't eat the chicken foot that they give you. You guys put carrots in your curry? I don't like carrot in my curry. It's important, you know, you have to put, you, have, you see child taste squash in there? Mm. We don't have any? I like spinners in my What curry. about butter bean? You don't like butter bean? No, guys, do you put butter bean in your curry? In curry. You don't care for butter bean in your curry? No. I care for nothing else. The only thing for me is the bowl of boiling coffee in the morning. Me coffee, me coffee, me coffee, me coffee. And guys, we have some beautiful, beautiful scorpion pepper here. If you are a pepper lover, this is scorpion pepper from Trinidad and Tobago. See there? Scorpion. What do them call it? Scorpion pepper. It sting you? It sting you bad, bad, bad. And this is one of this is classified as one of the hottest peppers in the world. Yes, scorpion pepper. Web venture come help cook. You talk about hi. Tawanda eh? Mathurin. Good evening. Good evening. And let me show you another set of peppers that I have. Wayne wonders I send him some of the seed of the scorpion pepper. Let me show you one next set of pepper on my aunt. These are Christmas light peppers or <laughs> bird pepper they call them. Yeah, yeah, see, I have some holy pepper, habanero, bird pepper, and all these things. Sometimes you just have to just nice up yourself, you know. But yeah, all right, thank you so much. So, how far you think we reach with that chicken, chicken foot now? 
Give it a chance. I'll make it up to you. Give it a chance. I'll prove his world was wrong. Give it a chance. I'll make it up to you. Oh, I forget to say, um, Heart of Worship, they are Nikki and sing them song. You're not alone. Hey, hey, hey. I know it's gonna hurt your heart again. And this I know. Anybody know them song there? Yes, yes, yes. You can count on me. I'll be there as your friend. <laughs> <laughs> You said miss me a bit. You said miss me a bit. We are going to do it. We ain't want to say swill. Pull up. <laughs> oh my God. The song them just them used to play when dance just starts. They used to dance at a wedding. Yeah, yeah, early juggling. She know it was early juggling. You know? before, <laughs> before the dance get hot. That's a, you know, but she that you see how early she go dance though. You see, she go dance way early. Hmm? <laughs> She know about early juggling. No, out of worship. Me, I talk to your pastors. <laughs> oh my God. I saw a thing set, man. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do, you know? On this beautiful Saturday evening, we were planning to go on the road. But you said sometimes you have to stay in the yard and you know, find some work for doing you know? it. So I think set, you know? <laughs> okay. She used to date a DJ. Hold okay. on. Hold on. Hold on. And a, and a saxophone, is you sure on a saxophone? Boy, <laughs> <laughs> so you have to turn up early with the DJ from dance, just start. Okay. Oh boy, I would help, but these seem like a two person job. Really? <laughs> wow, you guys, you hear, you hear Josh the food lover. He said he would help, but this seemed like it's a two-person job. Which job is a two-person job? Cooking. I hope him know, say. When the food served, a two the like eating it. is a two-person job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Water water. <laughs> so it has been, look at the time and tell me how long it has been. It here. has been 22 minutes. I think we can go ahead and... Um, let us see what's going on over here. All right. So Update. now we, where we are is at a good spot, a good place, a good, good place. All right. We are at a good place. Yeah, make the steam go outside. Mm -hmm. So you Bye, keep steam. Your... Bye, steam. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. Our mango tree is now officially empty. Can you believe that? And, and cousin never even get one mango off of it. <laughs> yeah. Some people came and raided the tree. Break the quarantine and come raid people tree. They know themselves because they're watching the video. All right, we're adding chicken now. All right, watching the video. Add the chicken now. And at this time, you want to get a little stir fry or, you know, action going. You know, you want to incorporate it quickly. And this Bucking. chicken, the chicken um, is deep, no fat no on the chicken. It's yeah. boneless. Skinless, boneless, everything less. So because it's all of those type of lessons, you have to be careful now because you will end up with a pot of, you know, mix up. So you want to so stir fry it in and get some of these, um, get the mm. chicken sort of cooking. Mm -hmm. Veil, veil, guess, take one guess. What we're serving it with. What is the best thing ever to eat curry chicken with? Tell me. Dumpling. Tell me, guys. What is the best thing to eat curry chicken with? Green banana. Arthur mm -hmm. <laughs> worships a white rice. Brick, 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 brick. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've ever um, had curry chicken with? Aki. No, I mean like to pair it with. What's the what's the Here. weirdest thing you ever paired curry chicken with? You know, sometimes you have some curry chicken, but you don't have the ideal thing to go with it. What's the weirdest thing you ever paired with it? 
Oh and yeah, we need to get. We're gonna do some broccoli too. I like eating curry with broccoli on the sides. All right, so this is our rice, and this is Indian basmati rice. Mm -hmm. Very light, long grain, super fluffy. You have to be careful when you're eating basmati rice of this nature because you eat it and you still feel Hungry. like you're not full. So you have to be very careful. Don't follow your feelings. All right, pot of bubble. Dumpling, oh my gosh, I love it with what well, I'm dumpling too. White yam and green, that's me. Curry chicken and actually boiled food is, is my favorite. All right, so I'm the carrot because the carrot takes a little while to cook too. Mm -hmm. You notice I'm not adding the, the seasoning yet, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. Cute Lisa in the house. Hey, in the house. Hey. The cute one Lisa. cute Lisa announced that she cute. cute. Yeah, hmm? cousin, everybody the other day had um adjective in front of their name. Cute Lisa. And lovely pretty stuff. pretty Nikki. Pretty Nikki. <laughs> pretty Nikki. Yeah. So uh, at number yard the belly. <laughs> yeah, curry you, chicken. Look like it are up now. Usually I would put spinners in my curry. I love spinners in curry, but she don't want to do it here. It's too much carbs. Eh? We already have a white rice. I'm not carb where I eat a, a flour. <laughs> <laughs> too much carbs. And guys, this is the stewing time now, you know. This is when you start to look for the stewing. Curry chicken and taco shells, hard and soft. Mmm. I, I can see it with the soft one, but... Because it, it mimic roti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm adding in my thime now. Yeah. I'm adding in some yeah. thyme. You don't want to omit thyme from your curry. It makes a huge difference with the flavor. Guys, Look who is in the house. As soon as he knows, confirm. Yeah, usually when the, the, the flavor notes start, you know, permeate in the house, this this is when you see him emerge. All right, may I put in onions and garlic now? Uh, yeah. Guys, when you run boat, you're just throwing the stuff them like that, you know? Mm. May I go get some pepper now? I'll yeah, I'll give you permission to put scotchy. No, put. Put both pet on scorpion. Hello. If I don't know, I'm a war in this evening. Make sure I can eat the food comfortably. Here we are. Here? Here we are. So we are for me with, with bad eye. Because Joshua is saying put ghost pepper. No, nah, put ghost. I nah, put a piece of scotch bonnet. And the scotch bonnet your act. So I'm not about no. <laughs> Why try? Don't stop it. Go cute Lisa. Well, hello. I'm charming, Troy. <laughs> 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 Why don't stop it? <laughs> Hey, shoot, you... <laughs> shoot your shot, you are trying. I was today. I mean, I'm here, Joshua, Lisa said, Oh, you look like a little tweezy, so. What name, sir? I don't know who that is. Who name, little tweezy? <laughs> Who's that? One of them pass that wooden spoon at the Josh. We don't have no tom no potatoes, um, Bill, so. Bill, quarantine. Quarantine time. We have to use what we have. <laughs> Little Tweezy. She, she, Thanks, Oh, Lisa. she just make up the name. <laughs> Some rapper name. Thanks, Tweezy. We have a call him Tweezy. Thank you, Lisa. I want a good name. Lisa, Nisi. Oh, Nisi. <laughs> Thank you, Nisi. Really? As, as of now, your auntie, your auntie, your cousin, or auntie, or whatever um, Nisi is, she gave the new name, Little Tweezy. Little so. Tweezy in the house. Hey. I don't eat food. Yeah, you don't eat I made curry this week in a long time. Oh, coffee come in like a rapture. Hey. And everybody get captured. You come up like a little captain. When you see the lyrical rapture, coffee you have to knock the temperature. temperature. <laughs> oh, coffee does sneak in, so I would never know she was here. I'm putting in some salt and I'm using sea salt. My sister used butter beans. I told her, but she don't want to put With it. With her curry chicken, really good. You imagine we don't have no weight in there, she don't want to put the butter in there. We don't have no what? We don't have no potato. Oh, and you don't want to put the butter put it, baby, you can put it. I made curry smoked turkey next Thursday. Wow. Wow. 
Why doesn't nobody make curry steak or curry mashed potatoes? I'm sorry. <laughs> curry steak or curry mashed potatoes? Where you get that from, Josh? You have to invent that one. You do that video. All right. Can you can you um, leave my pack alone now, please? Does it do its thing? Thank you so very much. I have no behavior. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right. Let me prepare my um. What do you call it? Your broccoli. My broccoli. Broccoli. Oh, we have a huge, huge head of, of broccoli. Just pick him up. So, ask the question: What have what have many people been doing to occupy them to their free time? I mean, I know people working, but like all oh, them get on board now, what them do? Mhm. Mm Guys, so you heard the question or no? Yardy's asking you, what have you been doing to pass the time? Especially for those who are out of a job now, you're not working or you're working from home for the most part. You can't go out to socialize. You're not even going to church. What have you been doing with your life? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get cilantro, you know. I said start make some more cilantro tea. You know this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a hack, you guys. This is the microwave cover. But because it have the holes, you can wash anything inside of it. And it drains. So I'm gonna wash the broccoli in this. <laughs> cleaning okay you know someone need to do some spring cleaning so i've been meaning to shred some a whole host of papers that i have um piling up for years like i'm, I'm that type of person when you come on to especially paperwork that i think may be necessary um one day i hold on to them for a long time so i have a whole host of them to shred you're a hoarder Really? I'm not a hoarder. Hoarders have stuff everywhere. Left, right, and center. Mm. So that's what I need to do. I need to work on getting rid of those papers. Um, <laughs> Bill to Epiton, wait. I'm baking almost every weekend. Wow. Maybe I'm going back. In try say instant pot cooking in quarantine. Heart of worship, redoing my room, which is draining out my pocket and spending time with my maker, master. That's awesome. Working, bike riding. Okay. Flirting with the lovely ladies of Yardy Belly. <laughs> That's even pre quarantine. That don't blame that on um corona. Corona not is not to one. be blamed for that, Troy. <laughs> right, right, right. You guys are planning to eat a lot of broccoli? Is you always so sweet or is you so sweet? Yeah, because they look like they might go bad if they're not used up today. So, yeah, I'm going to have to eat a lot. A lot of broccoli. Because... So what's for dinner, you guys? What is everybody cooking today? What are you having in your neck of the woods for your dinner? Last week we made pumpkin beef chicken foot soup, right? Mm -hmm. It was so good. It was so good. We have the video up live now, so you can check that out if you have not already checked it out. But as of today, as for today, what are you eating today? <laughs> Chai. Nisi, you're on to Chai, right? <laughs> He's been doing that for a long time. Just had some wings and lychee. How you get that for much? Wings and lychee. Nisi, wings and lychee. How you, you eat them together or what? 
wings and lychee okay coffee kitchen set eat leftover red piece whoa red piece soup big things that you know that are big things no, big man. things are going in a coffee kitchen here yeah. and guys i just made i just made a batch of irish moss or sea moss and my recipe is quite unique yeah quite unique i can so, tell you the video soon up yes so if you want to know how you can turn a dollar 99 into a million bucks in terms of your health then look out for that video look out for that video and you guys you can also binge watch yardy belly tv if you're you know in yeah that, at that place where you don't you run on running out of ideas of what to do you can binge watch which is so awesome too god belly okay. i have a new phone respect for you i started co-hosting boxing podcasts a boxing podcast and believe it's hard mental word getting yes. guests and planning for the show yep thank you so much rough yeah it's rough and then not understand the summer rough the thing tough tough <laughs> this is a lot of broccoli though i don't know who won't eat all of this broccoli there is not enough health needs in the world to explain using so much broccoli in one sitting because you're always full sweet that's the problem I call BCS. Where the children people in there? Leftover fish and turnip greens. Wow. Hold on there. Is that leftover Saturday today? Mm. Leftover. You know that, guys, a lot of people cook a lot more now. So people, who, you know, who probably don't cook often in the week, you're cooking in the week weekdays. So on the weekends, you end up with leftovers. Mm-hmm. So wow, but that's so interesting though. What kind of fish was it? How did you cook the fish? Leftover fish and turnip greens. I've never had turnip greens. Yes, we've had turnip greens. How? By itself? Yeah, when you turn the greens and it and it nip you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so corny. Um, GCB Woods. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Saturday dinner. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh gosh. The pot are bubble down, bubble down, bubble Wait, down. Which pot you're gonna use to do your turnip greens? Turnip greens? Yeah, something. <laughs> Broccoli. Um. You gonna boil them or, or just boil them, right? Yes, yeah, boil them is fine. I don't mind boiling them. Reach up. It's kind of nice, guys. Everything combustible in other stuff. Everything you know what I discovered fun. today? You don't need to put salt in your rice. I forgot to put salt in my rice today and I tasted it and it was fine. A little salt the meat. No love lost. <laughs> salt the meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> con the meat, yeah. When you forget to salt the rice, you con the meat. You have a gumbo video? Try same have to find your gumbo video. I did video. do a gumbo. Yeah man, I did a gumbo video. But say that gumbo was babe, you need to make it again. Stop There's a me. couple things that I need him to make. One, thanks for reminding me that gumbo was a bomb. I would take gumbo again. And uh, I'ma need a seafood boil. He's been promising me a seafood boil forever but the seafood outside now keep again so the seafood boil get get um what do you mean by cut remember the outside stop keep so most of people eating crab legs just the same and shrimp is never out of season so i need the seafood boil Fry oh swai okay you know i don't i don't know i don't know if i like swai you like soy? I'm gonna add this. 
to the pot now. Cute Lisa, I've had swai, but there's something about the texture of swai that because I'm not digging. Fish. I don't know. It, it's kind of soft to me. Like I did a swai video. You yeah, remember I, I did some, I, yeah. uh, some swai? I never, I never really remember. I was saying I don't really like the texture of it for some strange reason. My Saturday dinner was brown basmati rice. I, you're always eating brown rice. That's good. Brown basmati rice and mixed vegetable with some jerk sauce I made. Oh, so you're going vegan now. Where's the meat in that? Try vegan? Mm-hmm. Whatever, no? Okay. Kudos to you. Kudos to you. You can freeze broccoli. Uh, for real? Mm -hmm. Do I do I blanch it first or just freeze it raw? Just freeze it raw. I need to do that with the other one because I have a whole other head of broccoli in here. Where do we where do I give away? I mail this to somebody. <laughs> yeah, we have a whole head of so I might have to do that um broccoli freezing thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut up this and freeze it too. And it yes, also the food pepper how mm, what did you know. put in there just just one piece i never put a lot it's joshua falls me well i guess i'll be eating rice and broccoli <laughs> you're not gonna eat the dance no i'm not doing that because <laughs> worse worse if the stomach empty you can't really deal with the extra pepper mm -hmm. We need to start telling us some pepper more often. Right. Let outside. me come show you guys what's going on with the curry chicken. Curry chicken almost done, man. Pull the door. You know, seeing the pot good. Yeah, well, it's fine. All right, so. And guys, I always try to put a little bit of um, fresh seasoning at the end. Mm -hmm. Just because I like when seasoning in at the pot, you know? I don't like when it's too overly cooked. So. That's what I'm doing now. But it finished, it's ready. Did you check for salt? As usual, it is right on time with the salt. Right on time. We'll say blanch it first. Blanch what, eh? The thing before you freeze it. Yeah. There's you and your broccoli. I don't know how you and black are going to work out in this life right now. No. This mod pot? Use the big pot then. Someone pot over there, sir. Where? Where the... Where the, the... This pot's on the Oh, this look now, guys. Oh. Yeah. How oh, the food look? Let me make this boil up first. I eat that, you know, guys. Me I tell you, you understand? The only thing this need now is probably just a sliver of butter. Butter, but it, it ready. Bill said, Bill Herlock said that look good. Yeah, man, that's so we have, to, we have to do the thing quick and fast and in a hurry, you see me? Yeah. Coffee says she wants some. Oh, I have another tip for you guys. You see, when you cut off the broccoli stems, juice them with your green juice. Okay. Can't waste nothing. Troy said, him is not um, vegan, but because of his health issues, he only eat meat three days a week. And then vegetable for four days, four days a week. Awesome, that's wisdom. A smart move that youth. Remember me tell you. Trust me. And so there you have it, guys. Me just a turn down my pot a little bit, yeah. And me a wait for the wife to to do fear fear thing with fear broccoli, you know, because me's a boy where me's a boy ready for it, you know. Yeah, when time me see food like this, you know, you have to just demolish it. Yeah, it's just, it's just a natural instinct. I feel it, feel it. Like, I feel the instinct I go. Like it had moved towards demolishing it. Uh, watch it. I have to fight it. Fight it! Fight it! You cannot win! No! <laughs> All right, see. See. Put on the big pot of this one. It boiled boil already, man. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, 
Paulette Harrison, good afternoon to you. Mm -hmm. Blessings, blessings. I just keep it on it so make, make, make people head hurt them, you know. You understand? That's what I'm doing right now. Just keeping it on the pot to make people head hurt them. Hurt them. Yes, my friend. Me, I make my head hurt tonight. Cover my pot too fast. Stop looking at my pot. Over here we have the broccoli gone down. Yes. Two day survival eating broccoli and bully beef. <laughs> but hey, but see, you hear what I just mentioned a while ago? Broccoli and bully beef. I just know what I'm going to do with the next, the next one. You know? Mm. Me, no, I'm trying. Me have to make that. I have to make that. Broccoli and bully beef, that sounds to me like something that can happen. I, yeah. Because we love bully beef around here, you know. So, why are you afraid me? Wow. I can't believe you said that. Me a frightened she after she had the one with Alice, I scream out, Why? Look here, can you believe this? No, see, can you stop dancing? Hmm? Anytime you, anytime the food sweetie, you start dancing. Come with time to share now, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna prep the, the place for share because I'm not mean, gonna stay up on the thing or oh, um, longer down the office. Stay now. You see me? I'm concerned about, about Unoka, you know, we're from family and thing. And guys, we need enough to continue to pray for we. Because we're in trying times, you know, not just with coronavirus and thing, but we're still not ready. We still not sort out ourselves yet as it relates to our mishap last week. And so everything is still sort of slow, you know. But as I said, guys, you know, all your angle situations determine the, the person the person that you are, you know, or you deal with adversities determine, you know, the character that you have inside of you. And so we're we'll gonna take our adversities with a with a spoon of sugar. And we're we'll gonna pray about it and we're we'll gonna allow God to move because sometimes when things start to stir up. You know, you yeah, see so when when I when I when I when I eagle ready for him baby fly, that mother eagle push them out of the nest. You know, when him, when him ready for the, the baby fly, yeah, the mother eagle say, eh, eh, you stay here too long, because sometimes if you allow the, the the baby to stay in the nest, he never know say him wings can work. You understand? I have a mask and a car. Let's talk. <laughs> Paulette, your ear, your ear tries it. Tries it. It's never too late for, <laughs> for a meal. I have a mask and a car. Let's talk. <laughs> but yeah, you see, sometimes you have, to, you have to move to it. You have to move to it. You know? Baby sit down in the nest and get fat and never exercise him wing. So mother eagle come and she said, no, no, you can't stay like this. You have to move to it. Push him out of the nest. And before him hit the ground, he's either do or die. You understand? That's why the Bible come back and say, I mean, I know there are some folks who are not religious and this and, and, and bear with me. Bear with me. The Bible tell us, the Lord is able to renew your strength like the eagles because the eagle full of strength. But how him find out same of strength is a do or die situation do or die situation you either flap your wings or you hit the concrete you hit the side of a mountain and the funny thing about it is when that when that eagle finally learn how to fly he soars higher than every other bird the only other bird that go higher than the eagle is the albatross yeah only the albatross go higher than the eagle but until he learns to come out of that nest he will never ever know that he has the potential to go as high as he does and the eagle stays high the eagle flies so high that the prey on the ground doesn't even know that the eagle is about to attack them because they don't see the movements there's no shadow on the ground but the eagle is up there looking down and the eagle develop eyesight that is is second to none because he can spot a rat under a rock from two miles or three miles up in the air 
You see what I say? So when adversities come, guys, it's not necessarily to kill you. It is to see what you're made of. It's to test your metal. To see what you're made of. Babes, you're going to do a nice design. With the rice and, and, and put it on a plate and this. Design. just shape it in or something. You don't know about that, babes? Come on, baby. You can use one of them, something. Yeah. Guys, you see, she just pushed me. She just pushed me a while ago. I'm gonna call DCF. Yeah, man, so that's where we are. We are at the point of testing. Even the same coronavirus, it's a testing. It's a testing, you know. But they that wait upon the Lord, the Bible says, shall renew their strength. They that wait upon God, he shall renew their strength. And they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not fall faint and that's a powerful passage from the book of Isaiah I believe and that's how we think that you know the food I share and as right now me need the food to, to make me walk and not be weary me need the curry chicken they that wait upon curry chicken <laughs> hallelujah mm. Oi! shall renew their strength chicken foot Hallelujah. They shall run. Yes, when you eat the chicken food, you shall run. Ah, hot color low burns dog. <laughs> and not be wary. You shall walk and not faint. Glory. Glory. Hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> oh my lord. Guys on the bear with me. Uh, my head my head not really put on fully hundred. You understand? My head on but not fully fully hundred. Sometimes it, it come go and come. Hold on babes. You 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 wanna you wanna do that part on camera? Or you just Okay, we just put down the food in we just put on the food. We don't really remember say I run both food in. So guys watch it now. Hold on, we have to show them the fullness of what you do. So over here you have the rice all set together in a nice container. Yes, hallelujah. And then the wife is just gonna Put some chicken down. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, and you know, just just put the chicken there. Okay, come on, a little bit like so. Yeah. Hello, remember you're getting a ton load of broccoli. Oh yeah, don't forget about the broccoli. Yeah, I hold it for you. I, I hold it and for you. Look for the nice foot. There. Yeah, look for the foot. Them look cute, mm -hmm. cute foot. You know, that's no one no ugly foot. You know, cute foot like Lisa. Yes, hallelujah. That's good, that's good, that's good. Carrot, carrot now, make it look, you know, carrot, because we don't really eat parrot. You know, so we just eat carrot. One more over that side there, we need a... Just a block, so. Yeah, right there, right there, good, 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 good. One more over the side now for balance it. Yeah. Right there, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Let me put the more, little more gravy, little more gravy. Oh, Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Wait for the broccoli. No, no, carry the broccoli come. Broccoli get on its own. You have to carry the broccoli come. Oh, this look, guys. Oh, we're looking. Oh, we're looking. <laughs> no, me I tell you. No, okay, sir. Do me a favor. What kind of favor, sweetheart? If you're in the middle of the top of the rice, can you put a stick of parsley or slice? I got you, babes. I got you. I got the parsley right here. We got it right here. Parsley, cilantro, you know we not fear. Hold on, hold on. I come with the cilantro. I have to set it. No, right here. And that's what I'm doing. That's what it's I'm doing. It's too long. Ago. It, it have to be long because you, remember, see, you have to put it all the way down, you know? Like so. See? See? That's what you want it. Not really. Alright, take it out, take it out. Alright, which one you want? You have to find out one cilantro we, we can work with. Hallelujah, anyhow. Anyhow. Never, never let the broccoli get you down. Get you down. When that broccoli come your plate, push it over the side and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Anyhow. All right, see there? Oh, that look. We can't do no better, man. Can't go on. 
one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more Hallelujah. All this look, guys. Can this go on the back? Let me, let me try it. Let me try it. And we'll just put some sesame seed, toasted sesame seed on top of the broccoli. No. No, you have to make it be memorable, you know? Okay. You have to make it be memorable. So, see there? All this look, guys. Cheese and peace. Mm -mm. No, man. A fifteen dollar plate that for you, yes. And lunch special <laughs> seven dollar fifty, yes, yes. Try. Mm -mm. No, stop. Well, I'm gonna put it on my turn style, you know. Style. Because our style is turning. I tell you, no, sir. Hold on, hold on a minute, like Ninja Man. Turn style forward, march. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left. And we're just, we're just four minutes, three minutes shy of the Owaina babes. Really? Yes. Can you believe it? You can you believe it? Thank you, Tawanda. Thank you, Tawanda. Where are you from? The name sound African. Me like it. Me like it. Oh, my Lord. Look for my curry chicken. My curry chicken looks so divine and very mantagamous. That's a new word that I invent, mantagamous. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know it, please don't check your local dictionary because it's not there. Yes, guys, mantagamous. It means that it's curry beyond belief. Look at that, guys. Oh, it look, oh, it look. I like it. Prayer kid, curry for dinner. <laughs> Big up yourself, prayer kid, and the whole family. Yes, yes, yes. No, man. Eat a gamos. Bill says, eat a gamos. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, and somebody donated $10, and we appreciate you. Um, when name again? John Little? Big John? Little, Little John? Big up yourself, Little John. And NYC is in the house. Yeah, Tawanga is in the house. Ooh, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on, baby. <laughs> Guys, yes, when Craven is taken you know, out, you sing anything, you know. You will sing any song when you're craving. So that's what's happening right here and now in these neck of the woods. Watch it, man. Mm -mm. The food looks good. It looks so good. Super califragilistic, espialidocious. What did she use to shape the rice? Let me tell you what we use. We use the official rice shaper. It's a tomato holder. This is our official rice shaper. It's a tomato holder. I saw it look, you know, just yeah. So watch out some no no guys. Guys, look what I go on here, sir. So. I'm just tasting. What kind of taste? Look on the plate here with the tasting plate. <laughs> no man, sit down, sit down, cause no, you're going too bad, no man. No, sir. I don't want to sit down. What do you mean you don't want to sit down? You have big official mukbang you're going with on the channel. In the two minutes hey, we have left. I need them something here. I'll put all the plates in here. I don't know. Jeez, I'm... Yeah, I know. The, me hear the rumor rustle around there. You know, you know who I come. Mm-hmm. Hmm? The room is rustling. Class, Somebody class and finished. Class over for Saturday. No, man. In prayer, kid. Prayer, kid, me day have a, a presentation and she at work. <laughs> that, that said that should be a test to my lips. <laughs> I eat much. <laughs> oh my god. No, what? What? Okay, so that's a block right there. But hey, we'll big up ourselves just the same. Hey, listen, listen, listen. How the food tastes? Tell the people then. We can't talk. You have to talk. How the food tastes? Nice. It's not super peppery. It's just mildly peppery so it's flavored it's manageable it's just flavored right mm -hmm. <laughs> i like it somebody reach out of them room you saw so quick somebody come out of them room no sir that's crazy that's crazy mm. but guys listen we are so thankful for you to join us today on this beautiful channel yeah 
we want to thank you once again for logging on and joining us and, and, and just being a part of this little live that we're doing with curry chicken. Yeah. And remember me tell you, the next time you see us, we're gonna be doing something else, something nice. We'll stay too long, serve two master prayer kids, says so hurry up. No prayer kid, Joshua out of the room. Joshua out of the room long time. Long time out of the room. You understand? Yeah. But remember me tell you guys, keep on loving on Jesus. Keep on doing your best. Yeah. And tomorrow is another day. It's a day that we're gonna be in the church doing our thing, worshiping the Lord. And hey, we're making a know more video on the way now. More video on the way. So stick and stay. Yeah, the belly TV. No, see, you can't, you're going too bad. No, man. This is wickedness. Good, yes, good man. Guys, thank you for joining us today. Have a nice good day. Sorry to eat and talk. But I saw the thing said when the food nice, it's nice. Later on, we talk. Yard Belly TV, stick and stay. Remember, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Yard Belly TV, up on the ear. Big up on yourself. Peace and love. And soul. <laughs> <laughs>